so hey guys welcome back once again and in today's video i'm just gonna discuss more about confi ui as i've already promised you that i will go on deep into each and every topic about confi ui and i will make a video about it so if you are new to this video let me tell you guys i have already made a basic video about how to install confi ui and already explained the basic things about confi ui so if you are new to this video then definitely check that video in that i have already explained the basic thing so basically in today's video guys as you can see i was just messing around with confi ui i've already made the two sections over here this is a text to image section and this is an upscale image section so basically i was just trying to upscale the image or you can say i was just trying to upscale the resolution of the image or high res fix so that's the thing that i was doing and i will start with the beginning let's delete this first of all let me delete all of this section and i will start from the beginning from the basic so guys now as i have already deleted all of this section from this section upscale section you can see you can create as many group as you want and the best thing about this group is that you can see i have already renamed it to text to image section so basically this is a text to image section that we used on stable diffusion as well i will compare it with stable diffusion as well but let's go with this you can easily create any group just like you go on to right click and if you add on to the group it will automatically create a group and you can scale it as well and then you can rename it as well just i have already renamed it to text to image section and this yellow one upscale image section you can go on editing the group you can you can choose the color you can rename it as well you can choose the font size as well so that's how you can do it now let's delete this and let's start with the basic so first of all now let me show you the first thing this is a text to image section similar to that stable diffusion text to image section this is a text to image section the first thing is a checkpoint loader or you can rename this as well so if you click on this and and if you click on the title you can rename this as well checkpoint let's go with checkpoint or model whatever you want to rename it and just press it so this is basically a checkpoint selector where we select a checkpoint and the models on stable diffusion basically that's the simple thing and you can see this is a positive prompt section going on over here i've also renamed it and this also i have already renamed this as well negative prompt this is the basic thing that you will get if you run the comfy ui you will get the basic things over here so basically this is a negative prompt and this is a width and height selection and a batch size as well so that's the thing and the next thing that you get is the k sampler basically you need to connect the positive prompt and negative prompt on the k sampler as you can see it's already connected to positive and negative it's connected to negative over here and the next thing that you need to do is that you need to connect this latent over here as well on k sampler and the model you will get the model from this checkpoint section see this is the checkpoint section so basically all of the four are connected to k samplers over here and you can decide which sampler you want or you can set a fixed seed as well random seed as well samplers over here scheduler schedulers are basically normal i don't know what is this i will go into detail but these are the things that i am selecting so basically this is the settings that you do on stable diffusion just like this setting cf cfg skit setting sampling method setting sampling step settings and all of these things so you can say that's the k sampler and the next thing is vae E decode this is the important thing that you need to add first of all in order to generate the image and then the final is the save image window where you will get the final result so basically as you can see this was the group that i have created already i have already named it this will be the basic group that you will get a text to image i have already named it and now guys let's generate one more image in the text to image section as well as i have already selected 512 by 512 resolution over here in order to generate you just need to queue on this prompt just click on this and it will start generating the image so now let's generate and let's see what result do we get so guys as you can see this is the result that i got after generating and if i show you the result let me show you this is the result that i got as you can see it's 512 by 512 and 365 kb of size so if i show you this is the result that i got yes definitely we are not considering the result let it be whatever it is so that is the result that i want and what if i want to upscale the image so in order to upscale the image first of all you need to add another thing over here so what we will do we will try to add first of all latent upscale over here so in order to add the latent upscale you just need to right click add node over here and in that node you can go on to latent and just select a latent upscale over here so you will get a latent upscale and the next thing again what we want to do is that we just want a sampler once again for this as well so in order to like uh, upscale the image and the next thing that you need to add is the k sampler similar to this this is the next thing that we will add 
let's add the node and we will go with a sampling and you will find a case sampler over here so this is the next thing that you need to add and one more thing the final section this is the final result section that you need to add we need to add vae decode as well and we need to add save image as well so in order to get vae decode you need to go on to latent and go on to vae decode you will get vae decode from this section and the last is the image section just right click add node and go on to image you will find save image over here so that's the thing that you need to add the last thing so you will get the final result on save image section so now as you can see i have already set up all of this in the upscale menu now what we will do we will try to connect all of these nodes as well so first let's go with latent upscale so first in text to image section you can see this was the setting that we used and this was basically the output this was the main if you if you consider this all of these four this was the main base in order to generate 512 by 512 image and this setting so now what i want is that i want this 512 by 512 image in order to upscale so what i will do the output of this image like the k sampler output of this image i will connect it let's connect it with this k sampler because let me explain you in detail once again what i am getting from this four uh, window is that on this output i am getting 512 by 512 image and that is the 512 by 512 result right but I want to upscale. So what I will do, I will just carry this 512 by 512 image into latent upscale. So that is where the upscaling will take place. And what I will do in this, I will just increase the upscale value. I want it to like 1024 or any value you can go with. I will just go with 1024 by 1024. We have already set this 1024 by 1024. So that's the thing that we, we, we are doing. And the next thing, we will connect this latent into this latent image. The output of the upscale image image will go on to this latent image now what is remaining here is that positive negative prompt and model as well so where you will get this you will get it from over here so the first thing is that we will try to connect the model the model is where you will get this model so just try to connect this model over here and the next thing that you need to do is so what we will do we will just try to connect the positive prompt and we will just try to connect the negative prompt as well so basically that we are already done with the k samplers over here then we will connect this latent into this sample the vae decode sample okay so the last thing that is remaining is vae so where will we get we will get it from over here from the checkpoint and just connect the vae over here so that's almost the all of the things done and the last thing is that the decode image goes to final save image section so there is where we will get the final image so this is the final setup in order to upscale or high res fix and now let's see what result do we get so guys as you can see this is the result that i got the final result of the upscale image and if i show you the main result of text to image section so this was the result that i got with the text to image section and yes definitely if i show you the upscale image as well but if i show you let's go on to output so these were the two image that i got this was the first image with text to image section and this was the main image with the upscale section you can see the details going on first of all let's not consider the detail let me show you first thing so you can see this this is the 512 by 512 resolution 365 kb of the size and you can see this result let me show you and you can see 1024 by 1024 and the size is 1.23 mb so that is basically the upscale image that i got but you notice it that both of the images are totally different see this image is different and on this almost the face is similar but the clothes are totally different the reason to this is let me clearly explain you the reason to this is because we have set denoising strength to max one so what i will do we will just reduce the denoising strength to like let's go with 0.8 let's go with 0.8 and let's see what result do we get now so now guys as you can see this is the second result that i got after reducing my denoising strength. so basically this is a text to image section image and yeah this is the upscaled image as you can see yes the result are same but as you can see now, let me show you once again the result output. Once again, this is a text to image result 512 by 512, 362 of KB. And this is upscaled image 1024. Let me show you. Let's open this. So this is the text to image result. You can definitely see. And this is an upscale result. Definitely amazing result, right? The details going on. You can definitely see this is an upscale image and the details 
pretty amazing and yes so that's how you can go and upscale still the image is not that clear and let me tell you once again guys i will go on to each and every topic as well i will try to cover each and every topic on confi ui as well so that you can learn from the basic things and yeah this is so amazing i just love confi ui as well this is just a stable diffusion automatic 1111 but yeah in the ui of node sections or something like node ui so yeah that's the thing that is going on and i think that it is so interesting that you can go and experiment a lot on lot of things so this video was basically how you can go and upscale your images and yeah i will cover each and every topic in detail as well so that's it for today guys i hope so guys you enjoyed the video and once again if you haven't seen the installation and basic tutorial of uh, comfy ui then definitely check out that video as well in that video i have already explained in detail on how to install comfy ui and how the basics are of comfy ui so that's it guys and i will be back with more and more videos tomorrow till then have a good day bye guys love you all guys bye guys